Welcome back to day four of, of All In November. It, it's good that we started on November the 1st, so I won't lose track of, of what day we're on. It's just going to be the day of the month. So this is uh, Wednesday, November the 4th. Um, we are united. W what, a, what a great uh, anthem and banner as, as we think about what's being All In. We're united in this, this kingdom of God. Um, and I love my new Johnson High School t-shirt as a, as a reminder. Um, continuing this journey of, of blessing our, our partners in ministry at, at Family Promise um, is, again, as important as these physical things we're putting in this box. I want to make sure we just take some dedicated time to unpacking the, uh, the spiritual part of this. If we're in a month, that's hopefully going to carry into the next month and the next month uh, of being agents of gratitude ambassadors of, of gratitude. Um, so here we're going to have another one of Paul's letters um, thanking the church and, and, and bringing back this praise and gives us something now to, to think about as we um, had this day of devotion time. So thank you for joining us. Here we go from the book of Galatians. Uh, Paul's letter to the church here at Galatia. Uh, Galatians 1 and verses 3 and 4 say, oh, we'll go through 5, 3, 4, and 5 say this. It says, grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ, who gave himself for our sins to rescue us from the present evil age, according to the will of our God and Father, to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. You're seeing a pattern here. This is the, the fourth now letter uh, that we're in with this devotion series, and Paul begins another letter by giving thanks, by giving praise. And he does so this time by using words that he, he uses quite often, that grace and peace. What, what not only a great op opening, uh, but, but also a way for us to think about uh, being grateful and, and, and gratitude with, uh, with very two very strong Jesus words of, of grace and peace. It was a powerful way that he would open to, the, to his churches. Um, but, but I like the way that he uses now, and let's just think about this. Talks about that Jesus rescues us from our sins. I know about you, but um, I haven't stopped very often, or maybe if, if, if any, or maybe it's only been when I've been, oh my God, I'm, I'm in trouble and, and I need you, Jesus, to, to rescue me. But think about Jesus and the role of being our rescuer, the one who has saved us from our sins, um, not, not just at the moment when we were sick and tired of being sick and tired and, and said, well, I think I'll try this Jesus now, but on a daily basis knowing that even as we continue this journey as a new creation in Christ, uh, we're, we're still living on this side of eternity and in this fleshly tent, um, there, there's still sin that I need to deal with and you need to deal with. And without looking at, at the role of Jesus as Savior and, and Messiah and our rescuer, um, we're, we're going to miss deeper opportunities of really understanding about mercy and grace and forgiveness. So today, as, as we reflect on, on giving thanks back to God, I want to do so with, with Jesus in the role of being a rescuer, knowing that on my best day, I can't rescue myself, nor am I called to rescue myself. I can't rescue you. You can't rescue yourself. We are all in need of a Savior. We're all in need of a Savior, and we need to give thanks to God for knowing exactly what we need in that role as a Savior. Reflect on that. Our next food item today, as we put this next thing in the box, is the giant size of instant homestyle mashed potatoes, the Laura Lynn brand. Um, and I don't know how many um, servings of mashed potatoes this is going to make, but this is going to feed a big family. And I, I got the, the ginormous box on purpose, um, hoping that this gets to a household of, of folks with, um, uh, with, with the kids uh, and, and the things that are needed. So, um, again, as we just think about the blessings of provisions, we're going to do so today um, with our instant homestyle mashed potatoes. Let's pray blessings upon them. Jesus, again, we just, we just thank you for this day. It's this fourth day of, of our journey now in November of 2020. Um, and we're going to do so in, in thanking you and in, in, in being agents and ambassadors of gratitude by thanking you for the way that you rescue us. You continually pour grace upon us for the forgiveness of our sins, knowing that we don't need to beat ourselves up for the mistakes of the past, but God, we are sinful creatures each and every day, knowing that 
Um, we do struggle with the tension of, uh, of the, the spirit of God that's working inside of us, but the sin that still lives in our lives. So God, forgive us and heal us and rescue us. We thank you for these potatoes. Let them nourish bodies that will partake in, in all these boxes that you're blessing right now. We love you. We thank you. We give you all the praise, always. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Tomorrow, day five, don't let day four go by without experiencing the blessings of God and sharing them. Love you. Be back again. See you tomorrow.